Across the country, farmers have been making progress in getting their corn and soybeans in the ground, and that progress is the focus of this week's Agronomy for Your Acres with our friends from Nutrient Ag Solutions. Joining us this week is Brockton Raisner. He's a crop consultant from outside Jasper, Indiana. And Brockton, how is planning progress looking in your neck of the woods? Hey, Mike. Thanks for having me today. I wish I could tell you that all of our crop looks like the field I'm standing in right now, but it does not. We had a window at the end of March that was very fit planting conditions. Once the calendar flipped to April, we have been battling rains ever since then. We have not dried out uh, since that end of March. We are currently 50 to 60% planted on corn and looking for a window here soon to get the crop finished up. All right, Brockton, of course, as farmers make progress with that planting, they're going to look ahead to the rest of the season and nitrogen is always a concern. What's working for nitrogen management? Sure, there are lots of application methods and products. But what I, I have found to work is a three-tiered program, and that means splitting our nitrogen requirements up in thirds, whether that is pre-plant, at plant, or side dress. This gives us a lot of flexibility and allows us to maximize every pound of nitrogen. As you're thinking about maximizing those pounds, how can we protect our nitrogen, Brockton? Yeah, so really there's two main types of losses that we worry about is volatility and leaching. There are stabilizers that we can use such as Instinct or Nitrain Express. But one of my favorite way to protect from loss is to use ESN. It is a polymer encapsulated urea that will release nitrogen over a period of time. All right, Brockton, other than nitrogen, what other nutrients are you uh, advising your farmers to pay attention to this season? Well, it all starts with a good plan of P and K in the soil for your yield goals. The next low hanging fruit would be sulfur. It's commonly deficient in our soils. On a micronutrient level, we are seeing benefits from supplemental boron and zinc. Brockton, let's talk a little bit as you think, uh, how can farmers raise the bar on their corn yields? Now, Mike, I can't be giving away all my secrets today, but I can tell you that each operation is different. I would advise each grower to take a step back and reevaluate their current program, sit down with a trusted advisor and look for ways to improve, whether that be more drain tile, more uniform emergence, uh, but what one thing I have found to change in my generation has been the inclusion of a fungicide program. And with crop prices where they are, higher yields are more important than ever. They certainly are. Brockton Raisner, Nutrient Ag Solutions, thanks for joining us this week. Thank you. You can learn more at NutrientAgSolutions.com.